Welcome back to the vlog, guys, and more importantly, wait for it. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Okay, that was that was that was pretty bad. That, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this back in the fridge. But in all honesty, happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Fifth of May, May Fifth, whatever you guys want to call it. In honor, well, it's not really in honor of Cinco de Mayo, but in honor of the fifth, uh, we're gonna be doing five like hidden features, tricks unique things that you may not know about the Tesla Model S, at least my Tesla Model S, um, unless you had the car. So uh, let's just jump right to it. We're going to get down to the car. It is not too great outside. Uh, yes, it is raining. Good thing I washed my car yesterday in preparation for this rain. That was a joke. Um, I'm not too excited about having to drive in the rain. But anyways, uh, I got to go pick uh, Chelsea up from the airport. Tips and tricks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just, yeah, let's go. That's right guys, we're on G1 because we got a nice charging spot. That's also a nice benefit of uh, having the Tesla in this building. You get you get that prime parking, so yeah, G1 it is. Welcome back to the Tesla guys. Um, obviously, it's always, a, it's always a good day when you get to go for a nice drive in the Tesla. Let's get out of this garage though because, well, in here there's no connectivity and one of the things I want to show you uh, is regarding the mobile phone app, which obviously won't connect if there's no uh, 3G signal. So let's get out of here and uh, we'll get to it. Luckily it's, it's nice and quick because it's like, it's right there because we're on G1, so. <laughs> videos you guys might know how long that can possibly take but let's get to the, uh, the first oh yes uh, electric cars do work in the rain yeah I know it's it's pretty that's actually not a, a unique thing that's just like a known fact come on guys as you guys know I have uh, some rear seats back here which I'm not going to get out and talk about too much in this video but that means that there has to be a way for the kids sitting back here to get out of the car now I had done another video about this and there's like this weird trunk trunk button right here but that doesn't open the trunk I don't really know what this does actually but it doesn't do anything so that's not how you get out now I knew that there always had to be a trunk release but if you just look back here like there's nothing obvious like there's nothing on the sides for the kids to press there's nothing up here it's not very intuitive however if you come down here there's a button right under here that's actually like a window button and if you push that it will close the trunk so let's go ahead and uh, there we go. And a uh, fun fact, that button goes in both directions. So you can either push it up or pull it down, kind of like a window switch. And uh, well, obviously it opens and closes the trunk. The other way is there's a button right here, or uh, you can use the front dash up there, the uh, big screen or your key fob. Uh, this will also close the trunk. So first little hidden feature was that uh, that button back there, I actually didn't know I had a button in the back of my car for probably about a full year of ownership. A, I obviously never sat back there or drove back there, and, and B, I never had kids or like new other kids that rode in the back ever, so I never had to tell them like how to get out. Um, and then I was at Cars and Coffee like a month or two ago, and someone was like, you know there's a button in there to get out. <laughs> and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. So, Fun fact, there's a button back there. I do have rear facing seats, so my car seat's seven. That's not gonna be part of the five. Well, maybe it will be part of the five. We'll see. Anyways, that's the first kind of unique thing. There is a button in the trunk and it is kind of hidden. I don't know if that's in all Tesla Model S's though, or only the ones that came with the rear facing child seats. That's something I don't know. More to come, more to come. All right, guys, number two, I've talked about this a couple times, actually. So if you go into the driver profile setting and you go into valet mode and you tap this, you put in your pin code. Once you put your pin code in, you just hit allow. Now your car is in valet mode. But the unique and tip here is that if you're ever in a Tesla and you want to lock things in the car, but still be able to either give it to somebody else to drive or valet it, 
you put it into valet mode and your glove box right here um, now if we uh, if we go to push this button the glove box is locked the glove box is now locked when you're in valet mode so the valet person or whoever else is driving your car can't get into the glove box but I think more importantly there's a ton of storage in the front on this car and when the valet is uh, enabled if you double click that button as you can see nothing you can't open the front I think that's a huge benefit if you're ever driving a Tesla have a Tesla get a Tesla and you put your car into valet mode you can't open the glove box or the frunk if your car is in valet mode so two ways to lock things in your car or just in general if you want to lock things in your car you put into valet mode you're good to go um, people can play around in your car look at it but they can't get into your glove box and they can't get into your frunk so I thought that was pretty sweet I actually didn't know about the frunk until maybe about a couple months ago when I was making a video I uh, I put it in valet mode I went to get stuff out of the frunk I thought it was broken didn't know what was going on realized it was probably part of the valet feature and it is I can confirm that next feature is the Tesla app and uh, someone actually commented the other day hey I don't have a media button um, so as you can see in my app right here, I have this media button um, also climate controls charging location scheduled service all that good stuff But this media button they said hey, I don't have that what I found out is is just by trial and error So right now I'm obviously in my car my screens are on it says media if I click on media I can hit play Pause it it'll pause it um, You can change the volume all that good stuff, right? Right from here. Now, if we get out of the car, we shut the door. See how both screens are now off? So in here, you can see the media button just disappeared. However, if I open the door and those screens come back on, wait for it, wait for it, media pops back up. What I noticed is that um, when you are using the app, if these two screens are on and lit up, as long as these two screens are on and lit up, I believe that the media button will display in your Tesla app on your phone. If it's not and you're just out of your car, then it won't. So I would assume that the majority of people are using the Tesla app when you're outside of your car, um, your car is parked, uh, something like that. You're not really on it in your car. So I think a lot of people haven't noticed that or don't know about that feature. Um, not that you would need to use it, but it is kind of cool. Um, if you were in the car and you were a passenger in your car for some reason, you could go into your media app, control this stuff. Uh, if you were in the back seat, you could uh, turn the climate control up and down while in the car. You can change the songs while in the car. So it is it is kind of a neat little feature, but um, just something I thought I'd point out and someone did a comment on a while ago. Um, they said that they were running on a newer software. Uh, they were on like a t version 2019 point something point something. I'm actually on 2018 point 50 point six. Yeah, I'm actually on an older software. I believe the newer ones probably have it too. So maybe try looking at your app in your car or um, just while the screens are on. So another fun fact. All right, guys, so the fourth thing that I want to talk about that's kind of a unique, hidden, cool feature of uh, the Tesla is, uh, well, it's not it's not unique to the Tesla, but it is part of the Tesla. And uh, well, the first time I experienced it and uh, saw it was when I test drove a Tesla. Um, so unless you own one, drive one, I guess, or even sit in one and, and know what's going on, you don't really know what's happening. But behind the scenes, the regen braking, and by regen I mean regenerative braking if you don't know what that is. It takes the car's energy and momentum and when you let off of the acceleration pedal, there's no gas pedal per se, um, but what you can see is if, if you're cruising along and you let off that green line goes all the way down and the brake lights come on. Um, so you can actually see on the car right there that when I let off the accelerator pedal right now, the brake lights turn on on the little image of the car and they go off when I start accelerating again. So the reason I think this is pretty neat is that not only does it add energy back to the car, but it also preserves your brakes. 
Um, and a lot of people, myself included in, in videos, have talked about like one pedal Tesla driving where you really either push the pedal to go or let off the pedal and you just start slowing down. Well, you don't really need the brake pedal unless you need to brake more quickly or for the last like five to 10 miles an hour coming to a complete stop. You preserve your brake life, meaning you don't have to replace your brakes as often. And you're also putting energy back into the car's battery. So I thought this was pretty neat. And it's also neat that the first time I test drove it, um, I was like, wow, this car is slowing down a lot. Are my brake lights coming on? Cause I don't want someone to slam into the back of my car and your brake lights will automatically turn on. Your destination will be on the left. Thank you, thank you, Tesla. Um, so uh, your brake lights will turn on between 85 miles an hour all the way down to 10 miles an hour. So at 86 and above and nine miles an hour and lower, the brake lights will not come on essentially because you're moving so fast or you're moving so slow at that point that they just turn off because the regen isn't sufficient enough, I guess, to constitute turning the brake lights on. But either way, just something interesting about the regenerative braking and it's it's a nice feature. It's definitely a nice feature. So I really like it, but that'll, that'll do it for number four. regen braking uh, you can actually go into here and if you don't like how aggressive aka the fact that it like breaks your car for you well not it doesn't break your car there's nothing broken it, it like puts applies the brakes um, you can go into here and I believe it's driving yes so regenerative braking can be standard or low so if you do low it's not as aggressive um, I don't think it breaks to the point where the brake lights come on but it is still putting like some sort of energy, like that green line will come on, put some sort of energy back in. But I like standard, I leave it on standard. Standard's the way to go. All right guys, so finally, numero cinco, number five, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, the Tesla's a giant gaming system. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about this by now. If you hit the little Tesla T, um, it brings up your Model S or whatever your car is. And all of these Easter eggs are available um, to I believe all cars and I think there's more in like the Model X which does like a whole Santa Claus dancing thing but you have all these Easter eggs which I'm not going to get too far into right now but the big one Atari so this was a new new a newer update uh, the Atari update came out mm, actually no it's been out for like a year now I think the uh, the whoopee cushion uh, that one and the romance mode those are definitely newer Atari has been almost a year now maybe a little bit over a year a little bit under a year I don't know but either way if you tap on Atari got to give it a second but it loads well Atari but then your 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 steering wheel or these controls right here becomes a gaming system if you're ever bored waiting for somebody you have a selection of uh, these five games here so you got asteroids lunar lander missile commander centipede millipede so you can choose any of those games you can uh play as much as you want obviously you don't have to put 25 cents in it's fantastic um but some of the games you can actually use the scroll wheels and clicking these buttons to control the game so very cool um definitely a unique feature not in any other vehicle at least that i know of only teslas but elon sent some pretty cool stuff and um well that is one of them but if you're enjoying the content please consider liking and subscribing i think that's going to conclude all the unique and cool stuff on my car obviously there's a lot of very cool features on this car some other cars have those features as well but um just pointing it out if you're interested in a tesla if you're interested in getting one of these cars very cool stuff leave any questions in the comments below i'll try to get to them if i can um, but I think that's going to be it. So happy Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, guys. Um, hope you guys had a good one, even though it's a little rainy where I am. But uh, but that's going to wrap it up for today. So thanks for watching.